ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode. Uh, my name is Mark and I like to party in the water. So uh, what's today going to be about? Well, obviously not fishing because their hate game is just way too strong for me right now. I'm going to go out there and play around with the wind. Let's have a blast. I don't know what to expect, but if you stick around, you'll find out what's going to happen. So yesterday I spooked a redfish and uh, that just tells me that they're kind of finicky. There's plenty of bait out here. The grass shrimp have hatched, a lot of finger mullet. So I'm not going to start off big. The hydra bug is a, I'm not going to say massive lure, but it is a big lure. It's got a big profile. I don't think they're going after that. Well, honestly, you can't say that they're not going after that because the finger mullet are in here in like numbers. So, uh, decisions, decisions. Anyhow, I said this wasn't going to be about the fish. Uh, so, uh, let's just grab whatever. All right, let's get started. Here we go. Got a couple of choices back here. I think we'll, we'll start out with this guy right here. Let's do the hothead. I'm going to load this fella up with some Procure. A lot of y'all ask me, what scent do you do I use? Uh, it's shrimp scent. And then I always forget to tell y'all, check out the video description down below. A lot of your questions could be answered just by going to it. And you can see everything that I'm using. All the important information is listed down there with links that will take you to the websites uh, to actually view it and read about it. Hey! First catch of the day. Look at this. When I say the grass shrimp are out, I want y'all to see this. Look at that. That is a grass shrimp straight through. You can't get <laughs> you can't get any better than that. Man, oh man. I'm just gonna leave that fella on. That's the legit real scent right there. Got one, yeah. This feels like a flounder. Oh, yeah. Oh, and the curse is broken. Yeah, baby. There we go. Finally, we break the streak. Goodbye, S word. Son, you're going to have to open your mouth in order for me to get that lure out. Where? There we go. Let's see. We got these new ones. Is it? No. Let's just use the bogus. Hurry up, bud. There we go. Alright, just chill out. Chill out, homeboy. Perfect hook set. That hot head imitates the grass shrimp. Imitates shrimp in general. Check that out. Such a great lure. Super confidence bait. And let's see what he goes for. And then we're going to hurry up and throw him back out. Oh, that is a keeper. 14 and a quarter. <laughs> Son, we got to get a picture of you because nobody's going to believe us. Goodbye, my friend. Oh gosh, I just feel so blessed. I am lucky. Holy cow. So there we are. Blind casting along the bank and a whammo. All right, spot lock off and uh, we'll just continue going. Uh, just a flounder, man, just right now. Yeah, dude, I he barely thumped it and I was like, is that one because i prematurely set the hook a couple times already because i you know how there's like little mud divots yeah. well i thought i didn't know if that was one of those again so i just set the hook and yep he was there right yeah the hot yep Oh, 
Oh man, I told myself. God, such a idiot. How did I not hit record? Like I have the mindset, hit record every time. You gotta write it on your hand, bro. <sighs> I'm gonna staple a note to my shirt. Please tell me to hit record. Cannot believe this. Freaking crap. Oh my lord. Well, I should just count my blessings for the one fish that I caught. Because that homeboy didn't have to bite. He could have been a hater, just like the rest of them. Talk about a true game player, you know? That, that's right. That fella just took one for the team. He's a true Marine. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> He's a bottom feeder. Oh, man. All right, last cast. Right there, ladies and gentlemen, last cast. That's like in the bar when they say uh, last call, except the fish, if they don't interfere. Uh oh, that must have been a mullet, man. Like, there's so much of them out here. You know how when a mullet swims and it thumps your line with his tail? What a hater. And that is it. We are done. Come here, Mr. Curltail. Don't worry, bud. You did your best. A lesser lure would have given up by now. <laughs> Finally crushing the fish out there. No, just kidding. Uh, one flounder, but I'm telling you what, it feels like I won an Olympic gold medal uh, being back on the fish. And those winds were super horrible. Oh my gosh. On any other day that I was like uh, catching fish, today would not be one of those that I would go fishing on because it was just absolutely crazy. But the Autopilot 120 and the Minn Kota trolling motor with spot lock, boy, that was the key to being able to hold my position in those high winds. So ab absolutely just crushing the conditions, not the fish. Maybe later we'll crush the fish. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this one, and until next time, tight lines, y'all.